Hello, I'm Mark Tolson, Head of Watch Buying at Watches of Switzerland. In this video I'm going to show you a selection of different dive watches for a variety of prices all under £15,000. Some of the particular benefits of a diver's watch are their durability, their ruggedness, they can withstand lots and lots of punishment, they're very legible and they look great. I originally thought I'd start at the lowest price point and then work my way up through, through the pricing of all the watches, but on reflection there probably is only one watch to start with the legend, the archetype, the most recognisable dive watch ever, the Rolex Submariner. Starting with the case, this is a steel monoblock case. This has a screw in crown and it also has a screw in back, so it makes the watch incredibly watertight. This particular model is water resistant to 300 metres. Another feature is a unidirectional rotating bezel. This is used for marking time when you're diving. And then a further feature is strong legibility on the dial. So you'll see many divers watches with highly luminous hour markers and hands. This is hugely important when you're looking for the time in dark conditions. This is one of our best selling lines and the current retail is £6,250. It's a lot of watch for the money, but it really is worth it for all the features it has. I'm also going to take this opportunity to talk about the Sea Dweller. This watch, it's slightly more expensive than the Submariner. This is £8,350 and it was launched a great excitement and acclaim at Basel 2017. It has a 43mm case and a helium escape valve which is an added security feature to stop gas building up inside the watch at great depths. The Submariner is 300 meters water resistant. The Sea Dweller is 1,220 meters water resistant. One of the other interesting things about it is the Cerachrome bezel. It's a ceramic bezel, really hard wearing, really resistant, really reliable. The watch also has the 3235 Rolex movement, which is a 70 hour power reserve and is accurate to plus or minus two seconds a day. And then finally the dial. Legibility, particularly at 4,000 feet under the sea, is really, really important. So you have chromolite, numerals and hands. These glow a bright blue under the sea and look fantastic. Next up is the Tudor Heritage Black Bay. This is £2,300 on a strap or £2,510 on a bracelet. This is a really cool watch. Tudor have a great reputation for divers watches and this particular model has a snowflake hour hand. That's the big square on the hour hand for extra legibility. This was added to the watch at the request of the French Navy in the 1970s. Other features include the screw in crown. This makes the watch really water resistant and in this particular model it's 200 meters. It's an automatic and has a 70 hour power reserve. In addition you've got the rotating bezel and this model comes with either a blue burgundy or the black bezel shown here. And for the price, it represents great value for money. In front of me now is the Amiga Seamaster 300 Master Coaxial. In terms of price, this is £4,400. Amiga have a great history of making dive watches. One of the first ever dive watches was produced by Amiga in 1937. Now you have this particular model which is 300 meters water resistant and worn by the likes of James Bond in many of the films. Two key features of this watch are the movement and its anti-magnetic properties. It's resistant to magnetism up to 15,000 gauss and the bezel is made from liquid metal which is incredibly durable and corrosion resistant. One of the interesting thing and beautiful things about this particular watch is the dial. Whilst it looks beige now, at night, the minute hand and the dot at 12 o'clock glow green and the rest of the numerals and the other hand glows blue. It looks amazing at night. And now for something a little different. Panerai's 1950 Luminor submersible with a three day power reserve. And the price is £7,800. Panerai has a great history of making divers watches. It made watches for the Italian Navy and their submariners way back before the Second World War. The case is 47 millimeters. It's made of titanium. And key features about this watch, and something you'll notice, is the over the crown protection. All the other watches that we've seen, the crowns screw into the case. 
this has quite a clever mechanism to ensure the watch is watertight. This is the blank pan 50 fathoms. It retails currently at £13,050. You can't really talk about the history of diving watches without referencing blank pan. Arguably they produced the first diver's watch with an automatic movement and a rotating bezel a year before the Submariner came out in 1954. So blank pan's legacy and history in diving watches goes back to 1953 when they produced their first 50 fathoms. This is a 45 mil case version and you will notice that this is a chronograph. The strap is made of a sailcloth material and as with most dive watches it's got this great bezel and highly luminous dial. The first blank pan 50 fathoms was developed in conjunction with the French Navy and it looks remarkably similar to the model you see here today. In fact later this year they're producing the mil spec version, military specification version, as a limited edition which will come out and be in our stores in October and that's an amazing watch. The final watch I have in front of me today stretches the price span a little bit because this retails for £16,100. I had to include an Audemars Piguet. This is a hugely important brand um, and this is a great, great watch. This is the Offshore Diver and the key feature of this watch is it does have a rotating bezel but it's under the glass and it's operated by using the button at the 10 o'clock position on the case. 300 meters water resistant, 42 millimeter case, 60 hours power reserve and it comes in a silver or a black dial, and I love it. Sadly, that's all I've got time for today, so thank you for looking at these dive watches with me. We've got a great selection in our showrooms throughout the country, so please do come in and have a look. We'll be back with more videos soon, but for now, thank you and goodbye.